Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be drawing this. Now, the great thing about this is that it allows us to use our Revolve tool, and it also forces us to use our Pattern tool, our Circular Pattern tool to be specific. Now, <laughs> the reason why that's good is because um, it makes us basically use a bunch of different things that we normally won't use, and it's always nice to get some experience with those things. So let's start with this. So I'm going to actually draw it uh, based off of this view right here. So that one, <laughs> that was the world's worst arrow. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be drawing based off of that view. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line up to so revolve around. And then we're going to just draw this basic outline like this. And we'll worry about all the fillets and chamfers uh, and holes later. So let's do that first. So we'll create a sketch, go right here, and I have not tried this out, so it may be a little rough to begin with, but we're going to press X, go up, and it says the total height is 60 plus 20 plus 20 is 100, it looks like, but we want to make that 90, perfect. All right, so now we're going to hit escape, and then we are going to draw this out. So let's just draw the basic shape then. Uh, here, oh, turn off construction line. We're going to draw the basic shape and then dimensionalize it. Here, boom, 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 down to here, 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 in, up, in, and then close. All right, well, that's not anywhere near what it's supposed to look like, but let's do this. 20 here, and the bottom, I believe it's symmetric, so, because uh, there's no dimensions there, so it has to be symmetric, so we're just going to click here and here, and then I'm going to, these already should be collinear, but I'm just going to make sure those are collinear now, and then we have this inside here has, so it's a diameter of 45 or a radius of 22.5 I believe that is so we'll do that here or we could just literally just do uh, come on there we go uh, 45 divided by 2 press enter there and then we know that uh, this overall distance is 120 from end to end so that's 60 there so we want uh, 22.5 so that's um, 40, or 60 minus 22.5 here. 60 minus 22.5 to get that distance. And let's take a look. What other distances do we need? We need this height, which is 20. So we'll click D, 20. And then we know that this height in here is 60. And let's see, that should pretty much be it. The rest should be constrained already to the correct dimensions. Um, yep, 22.5, this has to be the same as this. Press enter there. And that looks about done. So we're going to finish this sketch, and then we are going to revolve it. So let's revolve by going up here, clicking revolve. Select that, and then it's just asking for that. So we'll press OK. And now what we need to do is draw in these little circles. So we have 6 with a diameter of 10, and it's on a circle of diameter 90. So we will create a sketch on this top surface here. And we will press X and type out 90. And then we are going to draw one that is diameter of 10. And there we go, we're gonna finish our sketch. And then we are going to extrude this. So we're gonna click here, and we're just going to click distance to object and this side here. Now what we're going to do is go to create and then pattern and circular pattern this. So we're gonna select both of those. And then our axis to rotate about is going to be this one right here, if I can select it. Well, it doesn't want us to select that, so I'm going to turn on the sketch. And then we're going to do that one more time. Pattern, 
circular pattern, select here, and select here, and then our axis of rotation is there. And it wanted six, I believe, so we're going to type in quantity of six, and it will already have evenly spaced them, so we'll press OK. There we go, so now we have used our, first we've used our revolve tool, and we've also used our circular pattern tool. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to clear out some of these uh, or make some of these fillets and chamfers. So these are fillets here, fillet, fillet, and then chamfers on the inside. So the chamfers on the inside are radius 3. Oh, that's one thing we didn't dimensionalize. Oh, nope, wrong one. Oh, wait, we actually did. Um, oops. So, let's see. Diameter of 50 or 25 from here. Okay, gotcha. This distance here to here. So, we will dimensionalize that. 25 already. So, it's, it's actually, it was already correct. Um, so, let's do those fillets. So, we'll click fillet and we'll select here and here and we have three press enter and then we have this one and we need to do two at 45 degrees so if we just go up here to our fillet or chamfer I mean my bad we're going to do all four simultaneously and chamfer style uh, distance or two distances, equal distances, so either way um, the equal distance means that it will already be 45 degree angle so we're just going to type out two. That looks good to me. So there we have it. I believe that is everything that we needed to, nope I'm wrong. There is another fillet on the, or chamfer, my bad, on the inside right here. So we'll do that and then I believe we are done. So let us chamfer this one more time click here and click in here and type out two and there we have it now we have finished there we go so that right here is exactly what we have over here it's pretty simple uh, once you have the hang of it um, what we had to do is figure out where to start and starting with this I believe that the best way was to draw this profile, half of it at least, and then revolve it. Um, it seemed to have worked out for us because we made something that looks identical to it and it only took us about eight minutes. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.